rewrite that part when they get there. And thank you for bringing that up because that's the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today on this episode. Updated. Is that retcons. Yeah, retcon. retcon. Okay. Do you guys realize, and I'm sure this is not a a you guys question because I know you guys know. Okay. But to those that are listening and watching, do you guys understand that the second super was put into conceptualization and we started watching episodes, start wa- reading the, the chapters, the retcons were born. Do you understand that? There was no gods. There was no angels. There was no other universes. There was none of this. Okay. Then fast forward. Oh, I mean, okay. Let's not fast forward too hard. Then they introduced new power-ups with gods the god key super saiyan god then super saiyan blue now ultra instinct which is a technique that takes on fucking visual fucking transformation okay and then broly happens and then with his movie what did they do they retconned the fucking bardock shit do we do, do we not forget that it's funny because Bandai has the balls to put out this new Bardock DLC for Kakarot, mm. and it's the original oh. Bardock story. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> we, we're talking about characters that got retconned. What about Frieza being in hell? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there you go. That's another good example, right? Like, people, people that don't fully understand what a retcon is... A retcon is basically when something that already exists is there, but then it gets, you know, redone, reimagined, and like redistributed in a more updated way that essentially changes the story to uh, reflect those changes. So, like, I'm pretty sure because of those retcons. It changed the aging of Vegeta and Goku by like a little bit because like for the movie's sake for Broly, they wanted them to all be almost around the same age. But to my understanding, and I could be wrong about this, but to my understanding, originally Goku and Vegeta were very different in age. Like they're around, they were around the same age, but it wasn't like all that similar as to how they i guess now are and then again with this bardock stuff all of that was 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 taken from dragon ball minus and put into this movie so super has just been they should just call it dragon ball retcon because that's what it is and then again once they hit the moro arc right after that anything that we are seeing so the granola stuff superhero this manga arc that's coming out all of this should not be happening it shouldn't because it already directly contradicts what the end of z is and by the end of z i mean the the moment where the time passes and they're they're gonna enter that tournament. Goten and Trunks are already older. Goku's training with Goten. Trunks and Goten were separated. They literally on do you remember this? On screen, they specifically say, Oh, we haven't seen each other in a long ass time. Mm. Here comes this manga arc that's doing what? Bringing them together. Bringing them together. <laughs> So again, retcons, like, like this happens. And I feel like a part of why people may be coming off so hard or aggressive is because the, the, the manga of Dragon Ball Z has been there for years and years. Okay. I feel like people don't, they like, they want to treat that as that is the, the definite shit right there. That is Toriyama pure Toriyama that's the last of the pure Toriyama that we that we had right that was his intended story to be told but now with all of these changes and 
you know, the fact that we're still getting new content for Dragon Ball in some way, things are changing. So now this presents a new problem, if you want to call it a problem. I mean, I guess it is, it is a problem because, you know, I could whoop up volume 26 right now. And that those those last few fucking chapters are not going to matter. You know, what's even more confusing is that on the cover of those, it literally says story by Toriyama. And I'm just like, damn, that does not help. <sighs> no. So, like, you know, like, but yeah, I, I also feel like part of the frustration from some people is because they don't one the the actual definition of what a retcon is is not being fully understood and two a lot of people believe that when we are discussing these things specifically like retcon related things we are trying to defend something we are never ever <laughs> not one time ever going to none of us none of the three of us are ever going to try to defend anything that's being retconned in dragon ball because all it means like the perfect example and just flash fire is tails Literally the tails oh. on, yeah, on the kids. You know what I mean? Like, Goten had no tail. Why? Because Toriyama forgot. That's a retcon. Because it is something that the show has established. It is a rule that the show has established that Saiyans are born with tails. Here's a Saiyan that was born without a tail. Why? Because the author forgot. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. That just means, like, a retcon literally means that the author fucked up somewhere and y'all just gotta hold it. Because they're gonna to rock it. with it. All they have to do, in order to, in order to fix a retcon, all you have to do is get the creator to face the problem and come up with a solution. Like, oh, yeah, when he was a baby, he got it, da 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 And then we have a quick flashback scene, like, oh, that explained it out of nowhere. Just like they retconned patara fusion that shit's forever oh no it's not it's only forever on gods that's a fucking retcon <laughs> like that's we're crazy. not gonna sit here and defend that that's just rules that got you know what i mean like shit just yeah it just happens shit just hits the fans sometimes that is a that's another great way to to explain what, how retcons work really it's shit that we under shit that everyone thinks they understand until they don't or they right. change it you know like that's just what happens, you know, because and, as I, well, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, because um, th those were like those are like the two different types that there are, you know, one where it doesn't get a solution and it doesn't even get noticed in the first place. And everybody's sitting here scratching their heads like, why is Trunks' hair a different color every episode? Oy. And then there's the other ones like Patara Fusion, where it got retconned and it's still classified as such. But at least we have a new answer and it's like, oh, OK, I guess we've just been lied to our whole lives. Fuck us. Yeah, like stuff like that was more forgivable only because there was because a direct. Because we have something new. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like there, there was a direct response to the question that I'm sure we all hollered at the TV when they fucking try to pull that off. They're yeah, like retcons. Retcons give give us problems when we don't have answers. Yeah. So, that's. <laughs> there's there there there's 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 no other way i mean like this is already an exhausted conversation that yeah. we've had several times over i mean this this guy doesn't even have anything else to add all right <laughs> okay <laughs> like he <laughs> like um me and kai are really like we're trying we're trying for y'all okay like out of the 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 most we're coming from a great place okay like we're trying to let y'all really hopefully understand where we're coming from and just understand what is going on okay don't get mad at us don't come at us if you're confused if you really don't know or you're like something's just not adding up just ask i highly encourage to ask in a in like you know in a not aggressive way okay because again like i've said this in the past too this is not a drama podcast this is not a going back and forth with negativity podcast we're trying to literally just take what we can enjoy of dragon ball and whatever other anime we decide to talk about because um that's also a thing and and just and just do that educate enlighten entertain you guys 
so that way y'all can go like take away from this podcast something a little bit better you know like maybe you didn't understand something so clear you listen to us talk about it a little bit more then then you you leave it and you're like oh, okay like now i have a better understanding that's all we're trying to do okay like but some of y'all that really start like yo, <laughs> yo like i don't know you've seen any of these fucking comments brandon but yo like people really lose their shit with this and i'm just gonna be I'm, like i said i'm gonna be very i'm gonna let y'all know now again right like people that go out of their way to just try to throw all sorts of shade and crap you guys are just not going to get acknowledged like you guys won't get acknowledged past your chance point and the chance point is when we respond to you and there's no indication that you're either like trying to understand or you're just trying to prove a point that you're making that doesn't make sense or add up and you're yeah, doing you're not it even slightly coherent or comprehensive in your reply and you're still coming at us that's it like you're done they like don't want simple me in the comments. <laughs> yeah like it, <laughs> they don't want me comment searching or whatever the fuck making but, fun of their shit <laughs> i mean yeah you know because that's the thing right because you know i'm trying to like I, i'm trying to make sure that you know whatever it is like even if, if we say something that's confusing let us know we'll elaborate you know we'll explain it more we'll, we'll probably talk about it again you know what I'm saying? That's the whole point of this. But just keep in mind that like, and and don't like, this isn't to put everybody on notice, but cause a lot of y'all don't have this problem. All right. A lot of y'all know how to talk to us, to talk with us. Okay. We appreciate all that. Okay. And like, y'all don't got nothing to worry about. So, so kudos to y'all. Okay. Y'all get dinks. Okay. To everyone else. <laughs> Y'all don't get dinks, okay? <laughs> you might, you, 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 more than likely, like I'm trying to say, you're just going to just get ignored, okay? And that's totally fair game. You know, this is our podcast. We we have that right to acknowledge or not. But we try to acknowledge everybody, all right? Because, you know, clearly y'all took the time out to listen and watch us, you know, just, you know, do what we do. Um and it, and it goes and, it, and it, it's very appreciated but there's always there's always a line that someone has to cross and to those people we're not gonna fucking talk to y'all simple <laughs> so yeah i uh so so that was so so back to this whole um like looking to the to the future or what they're setting up with with this right now that that goes you know back to this whole like super is z it's it's within z um and some of these retcons that are gonna have to happen like one of like like i i, I really feel like the only thing that's gonna stick is the oob moment pretty much like maybe pan maybe she kind of gets left alone for the most part but she might be in the tournament well she is she she has a fight well, i mean i mean like she might really be in it like oh. we might get to see that you know because that they said that after the goten and trunks arc that that's gonna that's gonna be like what they approach next right i mean they fucking better like listen dude they, they can't squeeze anything else they can't i mean they could <laughs> they, they, they're they toy they're full of fucking surprises right they need to stop but they really need to stop like there is no point of return here okay <laughs> like like next thing you know they decide to just take another character and they're like all right we're gonna do the story here now like they're doing everything they can to avoid that fucking end of z like they're yeah. trying to keep everything with super that makes no and for sense what to, to just to just fucking do it you know that's just that's just how that's just how they operate that's how they've operated that's what it that's yeah. what it comes off as so I don't know, man. It's it's one of those things, but like, like Oob, I feel like is gonna be the only, only real thing that they're gonna maintain. Like they might they they might even go as far as having the same moment where Goku, uh, 
notices Oob and then he talks to Majin Buu and he's like, yo, that kid, that's that's you. That's 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 Majin Buu. That might happen. That might happen. If they want it. Yeah, like I need I need you to to rig this. Cause remember, Goku got the tournament rigged for himself, okay? He had top player privilege. Yeah, yeah to fight to fight Uber. <laughs> he really did. Yes. He said, make him player two. Yes. He said, <laughs> I need to fight him. Okay. He rigged the whole bracket and said that <laughs> he really that did. He, like even in Z, he never he, like I mean, obviously we wouldn't know, but didn't he go like Super Saiyan? Like Goku? I think. No. He didn't he didn't show Uber Super Saiyan? No. I must be thinking about GT. You're shit. thinking of when they were training in the hyperbolic time chamber in GT. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. Yeah, nah. It's so funny. But that's oh, but you know what? In this arc that's in the manga, I mean like they have no mention of Goku being involved in this at all. Like they're really trying to throw everyone off by just saying, it's Goten and Trunks, little Gohan, little Piccolo, right? But man, this is the we this is this could be the part in the story where we see Goku get the blue gi. I don't even I don't even want him to see it. I don't want to see no blue gi, not gonna cap. So you want him to stick with orange? Look, yeah. Man, Goku really fits well with orange. I mean, that's we're used to seeing him in orange. Yeah. I mean, I don't I'm not knocking the blue gi, but it ain't the same. It's not. It ain't the same. But yeah, but I mean how do you feel about that? So, my, my favorite look for Goku is actually the blue shirt one. The one at the end of Z? Or yeah, no, yeah, wait, yeah. What, or, okay, so. No, 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 no not, 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 not the blue fit, not the blue fit. I'm talking like his tatter clothes, his regular orange gi the, with the Without orange top the orange. off. Without the orange, yeah. The blue. Oh, I, uh, yeah. Fuck, I fuck with that that's, too. That's my favorite one. Okay, I like that. Yeah, usually, usually when he's in that, he, he usually got like a Super Saiyan on. Or something like that. Yeah, he's all he's sure. all battle tattered or some we've, shit. We've seen him in normal mode with that too. I think when he was fighting Kid Buu. Oh yeah, like after it, like after you know, like he got already got his fucking ass handed to him a little bit. I, up. I, I always he, fucked with uh, like Goku when he's like when he got the ripped the ripped clothes and shit. Ripped attire has yeah, always been tires. a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's just absolutely. You know, you know what else I just realized? Mm. We're talking about how they can't fit anything else. But we've forgotten something. It's not new, but we've forgotten something. What? Excuse me. Remember in the manga when they said um, the events of uh, the Broly movie? Oh, but that's a story for a later date. Bitch, when? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Elaborate, please. They, they said that in the manga. I do not remember what chapter, so somebody could go ahead and find that. Oh. But there was a chapter where they were discussing the whole things that took place during the Broly movie, and they were like, yeah, this happened and that happened, but that's a story for a later time. And they brushed it the fuck off. Nah, that, listen. Nah, you're going to start making some confusions. Nah, 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 nah. I, know, I, gonna... I know what he's talking about, though. Yeah. Fuck. Nah, they they <laughs> not gonna, they're not gonna do that. <laughs> that's that's how you know. That's how you know. They're the not gonna do that. You know, that's like that's like a very easy thing to do as far as like. I'm just saying as a stalling tactic. Oh, if they really because wanted if to, they just stall. really like retold it. Just you know, you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. bought themselves some extra time for no reason. <sighs> These fucking guys, man. I tell you. Well, yeah, no, I. Listen, I feel like this arc as it is, is the last stalling Easy. tactic that they have, realistically. Dude, Moro needed to be. Yeah. Like, come on. Oh, that's that good shit!